is so swollen and thick. <laughs> it's Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would do my five week pregnancy update. I feel like time is going so fast. I know it's still early days, but I do have a few things compared to last week that I wanted to update you on. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Tiana. I do lifestyle motherhood and cleaning videos, and I'm pregnant with baby number two. So it's super exciting times. So if you love like motherhood content or even cleaning, then definitely consider subscribing and sticking around because there's so much variety at the moment so yeah with all that said let's get into the update because it's really exciting sort of <laughs> first of all I officially got my bloods back so last week I did get them done but we got it back it's all confirmed on paper which is nice to hear I knew I was pregnant before that because multiple pregnancy tests were positive, my period was late, it would be very rare <laughs> that the blood test came back and not being positive, so yeah. It's just nice to hear that it is positive on paper. I found a doctor that I really liked and who, um, you know, respects our views as a family and um, respects the way that I want to go through this pregnancy um, with a more holistic approach so that's really exciting um, because at first I had a male doctor and I just didn't feel like he was um, really that in touch with women's health and I don't know I don't want to be like discriminative or sexist and of course like a male can specialize in women's health but for me I definitely feel a lot more like comfortable with a woman especially a woman who's had children um that's just my personal preference and I'm very open to anything and again I'm not discriminating but um with my doctor I found that she was more suited to my pregnancy rather than the male doctor. So um, yeah, I was really happy to come across her. We did book the dating scan for next week, so that will be really exciting. I originally wasn't going to do a dating scan. Um, I was just going to do the main, the main scans, like 12 weeks, and I think it's 24 weeks. Um, but because they do scan packages, so you pay for the three scans, um, I thought, well, if it's in a package and I'm paying for it anyway, I may as well do the dating scan. So we are doing the dating scan now. I don't know if I mentioned that before that I was thinking of not doing it. Um, but yeah. And that kind of comes down to like personal preference as well. I feel like I got way too many scans with Theo. And after doing a bit of research, I figured I might pull back a little bit and not do as many scans with this baby. Only the really necessary ones, like t determining any like genetic mutations or, you know, the skin. I think it was, is the fluid on the neck. I know that's a really important one, which I think is the 12 weeks. Um, yeah, so of course we'd have to take it from there if there was anything wrong. But I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I am officially starting morning sickness. And I was like, I've been so good. And I was really hoping that we'd kind of avoid this. So today was the official day where I woke up and I just felt this wave of nausea. I did put on my ginger, um, black pepper and peppermint essential oils and that's definitely helped I've had a peppermint tea and I've lied in bed and that has helped I'm just praying and hoping that I don't get hypermesis gravidarum gravidarum hypermesis gravidarum H G like I did with Theo with Theo I don't know if I even really talked about this but with Theo I was hospitalized numerous times I was vomiting up to 40 times a day I lost so much weight I think it was like six kilos I had lost and I was already tiny um and I mean there's a bit of wiggle room if we want to lose a bit of weight now <laughs> um but yeah it was just really terrible I spent three months in bed I missed Christmas I just it was just terrible. I It, it kind of felt like I had a terminal illness. I just had never experienced 
anything so debilitating. It was just the worst thing I went through. That was a really hard pregnancy and I kind of wanted to touch base on that because I had a few comments, um, I guess, talking about because I was shocked when I found out I was pregnant. I wasn't shocked. I was just a bit overwhelmed because obviously we had planned for this. But I do have a lot of um, trauma around Theodore's pregnancy because that was a very dark time in my life. Not because I was pregnant, but because I had a lot of external things happen and I had a really hard pregnancy. And so I had been working um, on myself for quite a number of years after Theo was born to try and overcome this. But I feel like that feeling never quite goes away when you do have that deep down trauma. So I'm trying to have a really positive outlook on this pregnancy and we did try for it. So morning sickness is just a phase and we will get through it. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrified. I really, really hope that I don't get HG because I just don't know how I'm gonna look after my toddler when Isaac's back at work. So we will just have to cross that bridge when we reach it and it's gonna be fine but I'll probably take you through the whole process but yes it's a very scary time and look I'm gonna be honest this pregnancy is already so different from Theodore's so I know I'm like comparing a lot but it is so different already so I hope I hope that the morning sickness won't be bad because I just don't know how I'm gonna do it but going back to how different it is, there are a few symptoms that I'm going to talk about because I find that so funny. But I actually have a lot of fluid around this area. I was working the other, um, last week and I normally tuck my nose ring up because I want to give off a more professional appearance. So I tried to tuck it up and I could not get it up for the life of me. Like in between my nose here is so swollen and thick. <laughs> it's so weird talking about it. So swollen and thick that um yeah I like really struggled to get it up. I did in the end but I did like um kind of cut open the inside of my nose. Not really. I don't know. It like rubbed and formed this like um sore on the inside of my nose so that kind of hurts <clears throat> and talking about sores <laughs> this is so weird I don't know if I I think I did touch base on this last week but I have a cold sore and I never get cold sores and this has come up because I'm pregnant and I feel like all my hormones are changing so it's really annoying <laughs> But I've just put salve on it and I feel like it's slowly going down. But I, yeah, I honestly cannot remember the last time I've had a cold sore. So I find that really strange. But pregnancy does strange things to your body. So I am still like excessively thirsty. I haven't really had an appetite um, with much food. But I'm kind of at that stage that if I don't eat, I will start to feel nauseous. Um, I only want to eat savoury food. That's nothing new. I've always been a savoury type of girl. Preferred savoury over sweet, but extra now. Oh, and the salt. I'm like craving so much salt at the moment. Like I'm not, I'm not a sugar person. I'm not a whole big salt person. I'll like add a little bit to enhance my meal, but I've like been piling on the salt. Um, I did ask for a full blood count to check all my vitamins and mineral level levels and my iron and b12 because those are ones that i kind of struggle with and all that is 100 percent fine in the normal range i was taking an iron supplement but i'm only going to take that once a week um and of course along with my pure synergy prenatals i also bought a another prenatal brand which i like it's the herb of gold um they are more of a natural prenatals as well so i picked up one of them and um that is because like i'm almost out of my pure synergy and they 
and I do have to buy the pure synergy online so I will restock that soon but I just wanted to have prenatals ready for when I run out so I feel like you go through them so fast I think I go through like literally a bottle a month because I am taking like the recommended dose which is about four a day um so I am still suffering really sore boobies <laughs> and um they don't fit into my regular bra I do have a bit of a more universal size bras that I've kind of leaned towards anyway um just because I am still breastfeeding Theo but it's really funny because normally I could squeeze into the normal bra and no they're just spilling out the girls are spilling out so we're gonna have to probably go bra shopping soon and I'm just really um taken back with how quickly my body is changing I was shocked because we're literally early days and I don't remember any of this happening so fast with Theo. I guess everything happens faster with your second and you show more quickly depending on your body. I feel like I will because when I'm bloated I look six months pregnant. But um yeah it's really crazy how different things are changing. I can still squeeze into jeans, that's okay, but it is definitely uncomfortable and I have been getting quite a lot of like cramping not cramping as such but like discomfort in my uterus area like things are kind of changing and expanding and um just yeah <laughs> so that's really interesting but I think that is all of the, the symptoms for week five I kind of went on a bit of a tangent but I feel like there is just Nothing better than looking back on this journey and even sharing it with you guys. I know a few of you are pregnant and pregnant at the same time as me. So that is so, so exciting. I cannot wait to go through this journey with you. And we definitely have to stay active in this comment section. So yeah, it's really exciting to go through this with some mamas. And even if you're not, I'm sure you can like experience the positiveness through a lot of different things or if baby stuff is not your forte I still offer cleaning, cooking, meal prepping, even a few lifestyle vlogs so definitely stay tuned for them. So before we go we have to do a belly shot so I will show you that now. So I did have breakfast about an hour ago so I feel like it is kind of a bit of a food baby but here is our five week belly. Show you here. Yeah, still really small. Is the front? Oh, I feel like I just got a stitch there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like it is still swollen, but yeah, still early. And I'm gonna wrap it up here. I love you guys and have a great day. Bye.